Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Morgan J. Freeman personally apologized to Mexico for Trump's egregious military border order. American film director Morgan J. Freeman personally apologized to Mexico on Wednesday after President Donald Trump ordered National Guard troops to the southern border. In a tweet, Freeman said the egregious step amounted to an ego stunt that had left him embarrassed to be an American. Dear Mexico, I apologize for the egregious step taken by our president today, he wrote. I hope you know his views do not reflect those of the majority of Americans, and I hope his little ego stunt will be over soon. Embarrassed to be an American today. Freeman made the comments after Trump signed an official memorandum on Wednesday to deploy the National Guard to the U.S.-Mexico border, claiming that the security of the United States is imperiled by a drastic surge of illegal activity on the southern border. During the administrations of Presidents George W. Bush and Barack Obama, the National Guard provided support for efforts to secure our southern border, the memo says. The crisis at our southern border once again calls for the National Guard to help secure our border and protect our homeland. President Donald Trump said on Tuesday that he would order National Guard troops to the U.S.-Mexican border, hours after leading transition policy adviser Ken Blackwell told Fox Business Network that sending troops would show a coherent Trump policy of treating illegal immigration as a national security and homeland security issue, using all the levers of American foreign and domestic power to enact his policy. The president had been considering deploying the U.S. military to the border as a caravan of Central Americans are traveling through Mexico, approaching the American border. On Tuesday, President Trump announced that until a border wall is built, he believes he should send troops to secure the border, and he was exploring options with Defense Secretary James Mattis. The White House announced late that evening that the president was specifically mobilizing the National Guard to take on this task. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.